Hello everyone Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again to my lecture video Okay, today we are going to learn on how to calculate the moment of inertia of an uh, This one, cross-sectional area Okay, for this cross-sectional area We have uh, multiple shapes or multiple common shapes inside here We have a square, a rectangle and also a triangle hmm, Okay, so in the previous lecture Okay, please refer to the link in the description down below. In the previous lecture, we've learned the basic that each shape has its own equation to calculate the moment of inertia. Okay, when we have a multiple shapes like this, we will use these two equations, this one, uh, Ix and also Iy here, to calculate the moment of inertia for this uh, cross-sectional Area with multiple shapes. Uh, okay, so how to calculate this one? Okay, first of all, we need to separate this area into common shapes. In this situation, we have this one. Okay, we can separate it using. Okay, we have a. Uh, this one should be a square. Okay, we have a square. We have a triangle. And also we have a rectangle. So what is the meaning of this one? Okay, this one here is the one that we want to add. Okay, and this one here is the one that we want to remove. Okay, when we want to remove this part here, okay, this one here, remove this part here, then we can get this kind of shape. Correct? Right, huh? Okay, so we want to deduct this part here. So that's why we minus this rectangle. Then we can have this uh, shape here mm, okay. So in our calculation also When we want to add We must use positive Ix plus uh, This one okay. When we want to remove We need to make it negative uh, Okay Add positive Remove negative That's it Okay. So if we refer To these two equations here okay, They ask you To determine the moment of inertia About x and y exist so here to calculate ix okay about x exists this one means that we want to this one uh, we want to rotate about this x exists here we use this equation so we need to have ix for each common shape and area for each common shape and also this one okay the centroid of each common shape centroid location uh, of each common shape and then find the summation same goes with I, Y Okay So Here we have The coordinate of all the centroid for each common shape Okay Shape number 1 The triangle Shape number 2 The square And also this one The part that we want to remove Which is the triangle So this is the coordinate ah. Okay So to find this centroid here You can refer back To the centroid lecture video Okay In the description down below And we can use table To determine the location here Okay, and so this is the centroid x and y for each common shape here. Now we have this value. Next, we need to have ix. Okay, ix here is what for this one here for a uh, triangle here. Okay, the common equation for ix triangle is one over thirty six bh cube. Okay. For IY is 1 over 36 HB cube. Uh, slightly different. Huh? Okay. So, what is B? So, B here is this one, the base. And H here is this one. Okay. So, let's calculate the value of IX and also IY for this triangle. Okay. Now, we got the value 2.25 for ix and also iy okay lah because b and h for uh, for the triangle is same ah 3 and also 3 okay so we will get the same value okay next for this uh, square here okay for this square here the equation to calculate ix is okay 1 over 12 bh cube and to calculate iy is 1 over 12 HB cube. Uh, okay, so this one here, please refer back to the appendix, uh, the previous lecture. Uh, okay, 
So let's insert the value and calculate Ix and Iy for this square. Okay, so because H and B has the same value, so means that Ix and Iy also has the same value, which is 6.75. Okay, next we move on to this rectangle here. So if you see this rectangle here, okay, H is 2, B is 1. Uh, so means that we will have a different Ix and also Iy, and we will use the same equation as this square here 1 over 12 bh cube and 1 over 12 hb cube so let's calculate rx and iy for this rectangle okay guys now we've done calculating rx and also iy for this rectangle so as you can see here huh? so rx here is 0 0.667 iy here is 0 0.167 uh, so Different ah, different value ah. Now, okay, as mentioned earlier, when we want to remove a part, we need to make it negative. So means that in this situation here, we want to remove this rectangle. So our i x and also i y should be negative also. Okay, so this one here will be negative, and this one will also be negative. Okay, clear ah? Okay. Now, let's move on to this ay square. Okay, ay square here is area okay, for this uh, one here, the triangle, multiply with this one, okay, the value here, square. Uh, make sure you put uh, square. Okay. So, same goes with ax. So, area multiply with uh, location of centroid here, 1 and then square. Okay. So, let's calculate ay square and also ax square for all the shapes here okay guys now we've done calculating ay square and also ax square uh, okay so, as just like Ix and also Iy, the part that we want to remove, we need to make it negative. So, means that this one here, because triangle and this square we want to keep, so positive, positive. But this uh, rectangle here, we need to make it negative. So, this one will be negative 8 and also negative 12.5. Hmm. Now, actually, we've already got all the values that we need, which is Ix, we have, and then Ay square, we also have it, okay? And also Iy, we have, and Ax square, we also have. So, the next step is to just add Ix plus with this one, Iy plus with this one, okay? And fill, let's fill up this table, okay? Let's do it. Okay, guys, now we've done calculating uh, x plus ay square for all the shapes and also iy bar plus ax square for all the shapes here. Mm, okay, as you can see here, the part that we want to remove, which is the rectangle, the value will be negative, huh? negative 8.667 and negative 12.667. Okay, so as mentioned in this equation here, Okay, for Ix, eh, the moment of initial about x exists, Ix here, we need to have the total of everything here. Okay, the total of this one. So, it means that we need to total this part here and then we need to total this part here. Okay, so let's calculate the total of this one and also this one. Okay, everyone. Now we've done calculating the summation of this one. Okay, Ix plus Ay square and also Iy bar plus Ax square. Uh, okay. Now, if you can see here, okay, 
the unit here is meter power of 4 uh, okay so because this one here b is meter h also meter so h is cube so meter times meter 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 so meter power of 4 uh, okay uh. and if you refer to this uh, answer here i x is larger than i y so means that it is slightly difficult to bend in i x okay and it is much easier to bend in or rotate in i y uh, okay now uh, another thing that you need to uh, be careful okay if you look at this this one uh, okay x square here when we do uh, centroid x square here even though it is negative the answer will be positive because we make it square okay negative times negative positive uh, that's it okay so that's all on how to calculate the moment of inertia about ix about x exists and also y exists so in the next video we are going to look at on how to calculate the moment of inertia about the centroidal x and y exists so see you again in the next video bye bye